In this movie, we're going to explore the bandpass modes for the XP filter. Now, some modes are indeed labeled with a B for bandpass. You see a 2B and a 4B for two pull and four pull. Those names can be a little bit deceiving, and I'll get to that in a second. But also, the ones that are labeled with an H and an L, a combination of high pass and low pass, are also bandpass filters. They're just what's called asymmetric. They have a different number of poles on the high pass than they do on the low pass. And of course, all these have different sounds. I'm going to go back to normal enveloping. I'm going to take my oscillators out of the mix for now and go to noise. This is an easy way to tell what's going on, particularly in the spectrograph display. There's our previous high pass setting. I'm going to switch down to 2B, which actually says two poles of the filter are involved in making a bandpass filter. So one pole is a low pass, cutting off high frequencies. And one other pole is a high pass cutting off low frequencies. I'll turn the switch over to the bandpass side, play a note, and you'll see a little peak there in our spectrograph. Let's go ahead and lower the cutoff frequency of this filter to focus on that and turn up the volume so we can see a bit more strongly. The resonance is already turned up a little bit, which is helping contribute to a slightly sharper peak and a little bit steeper of a fall off. And uh, we'll decrease it back down here to see the difference. This is with no resonance. You see it's a bit flatter and broader. Lots of resonance. It's a bit more peaked. And that is a two-pole bandpass filter. The four-pole bandpass filter has two poles on the low-pass side, cutting off high frequencies, and two poles on the high-pass side, cutting off low frequencies. As you might expect, it has a more severe shape. It also has a more colored sound. Now these other combinations like 3H1L are different ways of using the four poles or four sections in the Curtis filter chip inside this filter module. Now 3H1L says, let's use three of our poles as a high pass. In other words, use those poles to attenuate low frequencies. And let's use one leftover pole as a low pass, passing lows and attenuating high frequencies. So just to get a better idea of what's going on, I'm gonna to switch to the left filter group Go to the 3H, 3 high pass, and look at that graph and listen to it. Very bright sound, cutting off the low frequencies. When I switch to the right side, an additional one pole low pass filter has been applied to cut off some of the high frequencies as well. So the 3H, 1L version is something that's gonna have a little bit brighter of a tone than say the 4B setting. 3H, 1L, 4B. Here where that's duller more high frequencies are attenuated because it's using two poles for low pass compared to one pole. Same if we go down to the two pole high pass. High pass by itself sounds look like this. Pretty bright sounding, but when we kick it over to the right, we add in one pole of low pass cut. Doesn't change the bass, but it does remove a lot of the high frequencies. There are actually two 2H1L filters. They have quite different sounds because they use different wirings of electronics. Here's the one on the right side. And here's the one on the left side. Much higher output level on the one on the left side, but it will not go into oscillation. And here's the most resonance you can get out of it. compared to this other version down here, which can get close to oscillation. As I sweep the filter, lower output, more of a peaky sound too. So when you're looking for a bandpass filter, what this filter is really asking you is, how much of the lows do you want to cut? In other words, how many poles of high pass? And how many high frequencies do you want to cut? How many poles of low pass? If you want a nice balanced bandpass filter sound, just use that center setting. It's going to take the noise out of here. Start here's on resonance there.
There's our oscillators. Maybe turn up a little bit. Very fun acidic sound. We'll go ahead and lower the cutoff. So when we hit the sustain level, we have a nice resonant sound. No resonance. And some resonance cranked back in. If we want less bandwidth, a more vocal like sound, we'll go up to four pole. Much more constricted sound. And if we say, you know, don't cut off quite as many high frequencies, let's only use one pull of low pass, we might use a setting like this. Compared to. Or even switch between these two modes, the only difference being one pull of low pass. Brighter sound, duller sound. These are quite loud, so I'll turn down the gain. So you have quite a bit of control over the tonal balance of the sound by choosing how many poles are on each side of the equation in a bandpass filter.